In this video, we will see how to assign leads and how to distribute leads to your sales team. To set up automated lead distribution, the first thing is you need to set up automatic lead capture. So there is a separate video where I have explained how to integrate various lead sources to Creasio. So all these leads can be automatically captured to the CRM system. So let's assume that you already set up some of these automations and leads are flowing into the CRM. Now we will focus on how to distribute the leads to your sales team in an automated way. So basically this distribution uh, rules can be written for your business. It could be based out of lead source, location, product or any conditions. So I will take some sample conditions and I will explain you how to set up distribution rules for these conditions. So once you learn this, you can actually configure for any other type of rules also that may come for your business. So first let's take this scenario where leads coming from India Mart, it's a source where all the leads coming to India Mart, we will assign it to an employee called Varun. The second scenario, we will pick all the leads from Facebook and assign it to team A with five employees. So it will go in round robin. In that, within that five employees, we'll rotate the lead. So the first person will get the first lead, then the second, like that, we'll rotate. The third scenario, we'll take another source and we'll rotate to another set of people. And then I'll also show you how to enable notification. So whenever a lead is assigned in their name, they will also get a notification. Plus, as a manager or a uh, administrator of the CRM, you can see what is the delay they are having to respond to customer. So uh, what is the time they are taking to make the first call to customer? That also we will see. So let's let's see this uh, scenario and I'll show you in the product how to configure and set up this distribution. So if you log into the CRM system, go to settings. So you will see this menu. And uh, if you go to integration, this is where you will set up the lead automation. So as I said before, there is a separate video where I will explain you how to configure these lead sources and how to integrate and automate the lead capture. So let's assume that you already done that. So now the leads are flowing into the CRM. So we will go to the administration. And here if you see, there is something called distribution. Right. So we will take the first scenario. This is the first scenario. We will assign all India Mart leads to Varun. How to do that? Just create a rule. Take lead source is India Mart. Right. So this is our scenario. Here we will search for Varun. That's it. If you do that, Whenever you get a lead from India Mart, it goes to Varun. So here what we need to do is, we need to also put the stage as new. Which means all the new leads from India Mart will now go to Varun. This is the first scenario. Now let's say that all Facebook leads, we will give it to this team A. How to do that? So take lead source contains Facebook, lead stage contains new. Instead of contents, you can also use Now all the Facebook and new leads will go to team A, which are which comprises of these five employees. Right? So you can see that these five employees, the software will assign the leads to Manoj, then Achilles, like that it will go in round robin. If you see here, you can see what time the system has assigned the lead. This is the last assign time. Here you can see that the next lead will go to Nikita. Then once Nikita receives the lead, it will go to Abhilasha and then it will go to Nitin. Let us say if uh, you wanted to change this team, all you need to do is just remove that member. Let us say we will remove Nitin and then we will add Varun. That is it. Now you added a new member and then you can save. Now all the Facebook leads which are new will go to this team in a round robin. Similarly, you can select for Google leads and then give it to employees in round robin. It's not just for lead source, it could be anything. So let's say you have a specific product. So you will have a field called a product. If you add that field, it will come here. So that particular product contains 
let's say a laptop any lead coming now for this laptop product you can give it to a specific team any lead coming from chennai mumbai delhi type of cities you can give it to specific team likewise you can create a rule for any scenario and you can automate the whole lead process now we have seen how to uh, write rule to distribute leads to your employees the next thing that you need to do after setting up this, this uh, automated distribution is you need to go to notification and enable whatsapp and email notification so whenever a new lead is created your sales person will get a notification here so likewise you can create various notification for email and for whatsapp then as a business owner or a manager if you go to reports so there is a specific report called first response report so this report will give exactly what is the time duration they are taking to make the first call after the lead is assigned to them so here in this scenario abhilasha you assigned 27 leads she took less in one hour she responded to 13 people and uh, she took more than 24 hours to call six people so these all the details you can see it here and if you click here you will see exactly in what day there is a delay in responding to the lead so basically these are all the things you need to take care when you distribute a lead so you need to set up a rule to distribute the lead it is set up a notification so the employees will know that lead is assigned to them and then you need to monitor this report to see how what is their response time if you do this then the distribution automated distribution will give an excellent result for you and for your business thank you